Hey guys, Jeff Schneider here. In today's video, we're going to cover a very basic, simple tip, but it's super effective if you don't know it already. So here we go. So we're going to take a simple rhythm like this and change it to this. Now that's a simple change, but you hear that all the time in bebop. So what is it? We're taking four eighth notes. We're doing it over an arpeggio. In this case, that's a C minor seven arpeggio, C, E flat, G, B flat. And instead of just going one and two and, or four eighth notes in a row, we're gonna do it as a triplet. So we're gonna rest on the, the first eighth note. So uh, ba da ba do bop. And then we're gonna go into this second eighth note followed by a triplet. And I'll write that out on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But it sounds like this. One, two, three, four, one. <laughs> So you have the eighth note followed by the eighth note triplet. And then from there, you can just continue the line until you're done. So the line that I played, I think it was. So that's uh, up a C minor seven arpeggio, C, E flat, G, B flat. This is concert key, by the way. And then I'm resolving down to the, to the A, which is the third of F7. We're on an F7 chord. You see where we're going with this. It's a two, five, one in the key of B flat major. So we're resolving down to that A, which is the third of the, uh, the F7 chord. And then, and from there we're going, ba -do -da, which is F, G, A. So that's um, five, six, seven on a B flat major scale. Five, six, seven. Sounds like this one more time. One, two, three, four, one. If you do like a leading tone, something like this. So that's the same thing, the C minor seven arpeggio with that leading tone approaching it. So instead of starting right on the C, we're starting on a half step below the C, which is B. Three, four, one. And then you'll have to change the line as you go forward. But my point is that you take any of these arpeggios that you've been practicing and you, instead of just playing eighth notes, you play the triplet. So I'll do a couple other examples. First I'll do with eighth notes and then I'll do it with the triplet version. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh. It really changes it. It gives it a nice uh, subtle flavor there. Let's do another example. One, two, three, four. Here's a triplet version, three, four, oh. You hear this all the time in bebop. If you look through the Charlie Parker Omni book, you will see this rhythm again and again and again. So try it out guys, use it with your arpeggios. If you want to try that added leading tone before, it's sort of an approach tone before you hit the actual arpeggio, then uh, you can do that as well. But uh, let me know how it goes. If you have questions, leave them down below, comments down below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.